If you guys want coins for FC24, make sure you check out MMOEXP.com. Their link is down in the description. They're very fast, they're very cheap, they're very reliable. And if you use my code REMA, you can get yourself a lovely 5% discount. So, what's up guys? It's Ash here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, guys, we do have my updated 4321 custom tactics and player instructions. Uh, we are going to play like a couple of games in this video because I do need to get a few rivals wins. And I wanted to try out this new Wendy Renard that I got from the uh, player pick in the store pack so uh yeah we've got a bit to do i want to show you these tactics that i've been using because i've been really liking them and uh yeah if you guys could drop this a thumbs up it does really help me out as it helps me boost uh in the algorithm also sub to the channel if you are new so you never miss out on any videos and uh yeah with all that aside guys let's get right into the tactics then we'll get into some gameplay all right then guys so starting off with the tactics defensive style as always we have this on balanced as it does give us the best control over our defense when we want to be aggressive and press we can and when we want to drop off and be a bit more passive we can also do that for the defensive width guys there's not really a specific number you need to use but i would suggest anywhere between 40 and 50 because it keeps your defense nice narrow and compact but it still gives you enough width to cover the wider areas for when an opponent attacks down the wing 50 is obviously a bit wider so it might might leave a bit more gaps through the middle but it'll be better at covering the wider areas so it's all about choosing what is the best for you and what you are most comfortable with for the depth guys again you can pretty much use whatever you want a lot of people like to use 71 depth for that auto press i'm not really a big fan at the moment i prefer having more control over my defenders so we go for something like 60 where we still have a higher defensive line but we have a bit more control over when we press that being said if you want to use a lower number or a higher number that is completely up to you now, moving on to the build-up play, I always suggest having this on balance as it does give you the most controlled and the most varied form of build-up. When you use balance, you can pick and choose when and where you use each type of build-up, for example, slow build-up or fast build-up. Um, basically, all these specific settings are usually pretty terrible, like fast build-up's not even that good for fast build-up a lot of the time. Your players just move all over the place and not always in a good way. Slow build-up doesn't even seem to give you any options to build-up slowly, so I just suggest balanced as it does give you the best options all around. For the chance creation guys direct passing is very important as it is the most meta option by far when you use direct passing guys your attacking players will always commit these runs uh, the op opposition defender will always try and follow that run and then once the defender has over committed to that run the attacker will track back so you can cut back because there'll be a nice bit of space between that attacker and the defender that has just over committed your attackers also bunch up against the opposition defenders meaning it's very easy to isolate a specific defender and take them on in that 1v1 type mortal combat style as uh, inception says quite a lot of the time so direct passing very important for the width guys in the attack it is a more narrow formation so you don't want to go crazy with the width if you want to make it really narrow because you enjoy that that is absolutely fine similarly if you want to make it a bit wider because you don't like the width um, again that is fine I just use 46 at the moment because that's something that works for me for the players in the box guys I would suggest six as it is a nice sweet spot of getting some players into the box but without over committing again though you can change this to suit whatever you want for the corners and the free kicks, I have these on two as again, I think it's a nice sweet spot, but you guys can do whatever you want with that. Quickly running over the player instructions, guys, pretty basic to be honest with you, but the striker, we have them on stay central and getting behind so we can keep them in those middle areas primarily as they are our striker. We do want them to be in the correct positions. We want them to be able to finish off our chances and this gives us the best chance of doing so. We also pop them on getting behind so they always make those runs and we get the most out of them. It is by far the best instructions to have on the striker uh, in terms of meta. Now for the left forward guys, we have them on stay central and getting behind, so it keeps them in those more narrow channels. You don't really want them drifting out too wide, otherwise it feels more like a 4-3-3. So it's important to keep them in those middle channels as much as possible on stay central. And again, we use getting behind to utilize their pace to get in behind those defensive lines. For the right forward guys, we just pop them on come back on defenses. It will make it defend in a 4-4-2. Uh, and the reason we do this is because the 4-4-2 is one of the best defensive shapes. It's really good at covering those narrow compact areas with those two center mids and also also the wider areas now with the right mid and the left mid so this right forward on comeback and defense will defend as a right mid in the 442 shape so in my case Cantona and Rodrigo will be two strikers Mudrick right mid Hullet right center mid Schuermeni left center mid and Rolfo left mid that is when we don't have the ball 
Now, moving on to the right centre mid, the more box-to-box -box style player, we have them on the default settings and cover centre. Default settings so that they do a bit of everything from attacking to defending, um, and not, they're not really restricted all that much. And then cover centre, so it means they will defend as one of those two centre mids in the 4-4-2 shape. Now, for the middle centre mid guys, the more defensive-minded uh, midfielder, we have them on stay back while attacking and cover centre. Stay back because obviously we don't want him flying forward if he is more defensive-minded. And then cover centre so that he will defend as one of those two centre mids in that 4-4-2 shape. Now for this left centre mid guys we actually use a more attacking minded player so we're going to use Rolfo here. Somebody that can still defend but it's not super important that they can. You can get away with using a more attacking minded player because on this cover wing instruction they'll defend more as a left midfielder when we don't have the ball which is not as important in terms of defensive stats. We also have them on get forward uh, so that they will join the attack like we want because they are more attacking and then also stay on the edge of the box across so we've always got one player that is waiting around the edge of the box for like rebounds or cutbacks or something like that it's very useful to have this player in that position in my opinion now for the fullbacks guys whichever one is your most attacking one um you pop them on balance attack and overlap this is to give you that extra width that wider option very useful if this player has that width pass plus trait as they're going to bomb down the wing and then you can just cross it in with them uh, but yeah it adds that extra width and really does help you out in the attack to give you extra options for the other fullback guys the more defensive ones stay back and overlap so you always have at least three defenders back at a time but when you send them on the overlapping run uh, sorry when you send them on the run forward they'll make that overlapping run to add that extra width um for the two centre backs we leave them alone and then the keeper we also leave them alone but yeah guys they are the tactics and instructions let's get right into a game to see how it performs all right so we've got our first game here Ginola Barbatov Putelas not a bad team to be honest um let's go Oh, that's a pen ref. Wow, this uh, this Cantona actually feels a lot more agile than he looks because usually these clunkier, like clunkier looking players with like the stockier body types, uh, body types, um, they feel a bit worse on the ball. But Cantona, you don't really notice it. He actually feels pretty good most of the time. Oh my word, what happened there? The one thing I've noticed with this tactic sometimes is it pushes um, Shuameni out to the wide position when we're defending even though I've got him in the middle which is I think it's a bit of a bug uh, but maybe some of you guys in the comments will be able to help me out with that um, it's only seemed to happen recently usually um, you know they'll stay in the correct place but yeah and we got to quit nice let's go we'll play one more I don't know how sure many didn't push him off there. Ah, uh, one nil down. That's a bit annoying. Nice one. Good stuff. Brilliant Cafu. And Cantona. Nice one. Again, you see what I mean? Like, Shuameni sometimes starts out in that position, and I'm not sure why, because it never normally happens. So if anyone can help me out with that, then I would I would appreciate it, because it's only happened recently. What am I doing? I just completely sold that. That's a penalty. Thank you. What a pen. Well done, Cantona. Look, again, you see how sure many's uh, on the left? It doesn't seem to do it every game, but does anyone know why it happens? Really annoying. Chip. Thank you. Chip shot trait, not always useless, but very hard to use because, uh, you know, people don't always bring their keepers out. Nice one, Hullet. Okay, so we did quit. 
All right, guys, that's it for the video. If you have enjoyed or found it useful, please be sure to drop it a thumbs up. Sub to the channel if you are new, and don't forget to turn on notifications so you never know, uh, never miss out on uh, a video when it is posted. And uh, yeah, with all that aside, guys, hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace out, guys. Take care.